Hey there, it's Overflow. So, you might know that I'm pretty fond of Linux and anything that's open source, but I'm still a gamer, most of all, and I still do like playing games. And of course, some of them don't work on Linux, so I enjoy playing Roblox, Age of Empires, and some other games, and those don't work well on Roblox on Linux. Roblox works on Linux with Wine, and although that runs good, it requires a pretty long time, and it requires a custom version of Wine that you have to compile by yourself, and that's not a, if you have, like, worse hardware, that's not going to be a good option. Things, and for other things like Age of Empires, it runs pretty well under Steam Proton. The main problem is that you can't log in, and it, that's pretty important if you want to play online. So, even though I absolutely love Linux, I still keep an installation of Windows around. And this is one of the methods that I really like doing it, is using Windows to USB, which here it's the tool. And Windows to USB it allows you to use like a USB hard drive and install Windows there. And this is amazing because you get to keep it off of your main system so Windows doesn't like kill grub every time it updates. And it allows you just to like unplug, plug it into another computer, and continue your work. And it's really cool. But there is a pretty big problem. It's Windows, most of all. And of course, there's problems like activation, update. This thing still updates, and recently, after an update, it requires you to hit enter every time you boot up in 8 seconds, or else it's going to run a disk check, which run takes really long. And of course, Windows updates. I'm pretty sure Windows to go will never get Windows 11 officially, so you cannot do this unless you have another PC and you run Windows to go updater. So this is never getting Windows update, and it's kind of unfortunate. But I do have a solution. This is called Revy. Revy, and you can get it at revy.cc, and this is for that person that just won't switch to Linux, but you really want them to have a better computer. So let's take a look through their website first, and then I'll install Revy in a virtual machine and show you around. So performance, Windows less than ideal, privacy, that's pretty true. You can watch other videos. I recommend Mental Outlaws, 5 Reasons Why Windows is Just Better. He released it on April 1st. It's satire, and he goes through a lot of reasons why Windows is kind of bad for that. Stability, they have a pretty good Discord. Now, before I actually show you it, I do have to tell you, since recently, after Vance, YouTube, they, it was a customized version of YouTube that removed all ads, got cease and desisted. I would probably, like, not recommend this if you're going to put it on a server, because this is probably going to get struck down by Microsoft one day or another. But right now, it seems like it's pretty dependable, and it's still going for, like, three years or so. So, let's... Open up VMware, create a new virtual machine, already downloaded in ISO, it's right here. And if you don't know how to download, you just hit download, and then right here, and hit download, and then Windows 11. I'm going to be showing you RevOS Windows 11, although Windows 10 works pretty good as well. So you just use their ISO, in VMware you would choose Windows 10 and later, just call it that. Eight. Sure to give it 64. And if you store it, I've, Windows 11 kind of works funky if you store it as multiple files, so I recommend doing single. And we'll just bump the RAM up to 4 gigabytes since I have that. And that's it. So let's start up our virtual machine. And funny enough, this is the Windows Revy OS setup is actually faster than most Linux setupers like Calamares. Like, you could do, like, I'm pretty sure under 5 minutes setup seed runs. And startup is mostly what you would expect from Windows. And it doesn't have anything custom as, like, the first time setup screen. So, it's still that, like, Windows Vista, I'm pretty sure, setup. Take a sip of water. And if you're, you're not sure about it, you could definitely go through virtual machines, and this is fully supported by VMware's virtual machine tool, so you have to accept to give your children away to Microsoft. 
it still says thank you for choosing Microsoft. And you can see it skips all of like the choose Windows version, enter your license keys, there's none of that. So all you, you want to do with this is hit new, do this, okay, and then it'll set up like everything. And just hit choose your the biggest partition, hit next. And then it's set up. It's blazing fast, even in a VM, and I expect this to be even faster on actual hardware. Yeah, and this is kind of the beauty of what happens if you strip all of the Microsoft Flow away from Windows. And while I'm going to exit full screen, I'm going to show you a little bit more of the website while it sets up. So if you want to download, I'd recommend going with Mega. Because sometimes OneDrive can be a little funky. Installation guide I'm basically showing you. And you can see the requirements are really low. I don't think they provide 64-bit versions of Windows 10 for Revy OS, which is unfortunate if you have like a really old computer that you want to use. But most computers are 64-bit, and I don't expect that to be much of a problem. You'll need a USB drive for the installation. And if you were doing actual hardware, I'd recommend you go with Rufus, which I have not demonstrated before, but Rufus, pretty simple. You put in your ISO, and then you choose your flash drive, and then you go. Windows 11 does, if you want a game, I recommend you go with Windows 11, as that supports anti-cheat. And this part is actually kind of weird. So... RevOS 11 does not require secure boot or TPM as a setup thing, but you have to enable it. I don't know if it's like cross-cutting information or not, but it is kind of weird. And for my Mac users out there, if I have tried boot camping it on an actual MacBook, it works kind of like you can go through the boot camp setup process, but boot camp fails downloading the Windows support software so you're gonna go you're gonna have to go through like flashing it on a hard drive copying windows support software that way so kind of odd i'm pretty sure it's something to do with the bootcamp software itself that's trying to like search for rev os and then doesn't have it you can download their discord's pretty nice although don't ask for support there like they will literally bite your head off if you ask for support and legal terms of use of course I'm pretty sure there is probably like a very low chance that this is going to get cease and desisted since it doesn't activate Windows for you, but it does remove all the non-activation blocks. So it's probably okay for a few more years until it gets really popular. And of course, if you, this is actually kind of like a, a succeeder to something called Windows 10 AME. Windows 10 AME has just been kind of weird. I can't really find their website anymore for some reason. I don't know why, but Windows 10 AME had a similar thing where they removed all the bloat and things from Windows, and then they did that. So it's getting ready. Nothing about that. Terms of use, whatever. No affiliation with Microsoft. That's pretty much it. Let's just wait for it to get ready. Okay, I think we're in the setup screen. You, you're gonna see the o Windows 11 oval. It's not an oval, it's called an OOBE. It's onboarding something, onboarding experience. But, yep, it's starting. I'm gonna remind me later. Alright, so, booting it up first time took a little longer than the first time that I was trying it, but we're here in VMware. It's going through the normal checkup, so let's do a full screen. And it's it definitely looks different than the Windows 11 official ISO. It still has like this nice board, but a gray background instead. So it's doing the checking for updates, and you'll notice that like none of the 
OBS is there, you don't have to log in with a Microsoft account. And of course, if you've looked at the recent Insider builds, there's no ads in the file store. So let's just overflow in. Three and three. Yes. Normally, I wouldn't recommend doing this with a system, but this is a VM that I'm deleting, like, after this video, so everything's just yes, and I forget my password, though, to make me one. And I'm pretty sure that's it for the setup process. Checking for updates again. Alright, we're in. It should be pretty soon. Okay, and now we're back. And if you look at the system, I'm pretty sure this is just, like, something to install all the apps. Because I'm sure the way that it works is that they remove everything from Windows first, and then it doesn't come with anything else, so there's, like, no... Internet Explorer was re removed from Windows 10 and base ISO. So there's no web browser or anything, and and the last time I did this, what what it does is that in, it installs a web browser in all like the dependencies. So while we do that, I'm going to install VMware tools so that it, it'll be full screen, and that's pretty easy. You just open File Explorer, double click this, and then it's installing. And before like anything happens, you see that this. Kind of looks like Windows 10 with the non-rounded corners. Just do a typical install. This is like pretty basic. You won't have to do this if you're installing on bare hardware, but instead what you'll have to do is like install NVIDIA drivers. And I think that has a different like thing of how to install NVIDIA drivers that are on the Revy website. Yeah, it's under post install. So you have like GPU driver installation there, how to do this, and this is like ins removing more Microsoft flow with like, I think this is registry, then DirectX, you, you'll need DirectX for most games, so you want to do this, Visual C, and then NVIDIA, you want to do all of this on the website. Okay, and we're going to have to restart for this. And you'll notice that even in a VM startup, times are real quick. Normal Windows is like 7 seconds or so. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This is about 8 seconds, so it's not far off from normal Windows. So startup times are definitely not like faster, but they're not slower. And this is a Revue OS desktop. It looks kind of boring right now, but let's go into settings. So everything's stock for you. It's just revision PC. You can change this. And what I mostly wanted to do is in about section. So it's Windows 11 Pro on default, which is pretty cool. It's made by revision. I have not used the like Windows 11 settings in a very long time, so forgive me if I mess around. Oh, looks like it froze. Alright. And this is kind of like one of my main gripes with RevOS is that it chooses to have Brave as its default web browser. And I'm not going to go into deep of why Brave is not a good browser, but it's mostly just like NFT and crypto advertising, which I'm fine with, but it's they're kind of shoving it down your throat, and I don't like that. I'd very much rather have Firefox or LibreWolf, and I think installing LibreWolf would be more beneficial than like Firefox. So it's somewhere inside of this, about inside of about register. So there's Brave, you can install Firefox, all your games would work like normal. And I'm pretty sure Microsoft Store works. 
but I don't know about Windows Subsystem for Android. I don't know if that requires you to be on like the normal ISO or this ISO. So we'll look at activation. Of course, this is like made by Microsoft, so you have all of the ads. If you like compare this with how RevOS actually looks, then you it's a pretty big stark difference because this is like all of the ads you can imagine, and this is pretty clean. There's not much of it. Oh, and here's another subtle thing. So in Windows 11, they added a new right-click menu, and they returned the old right-click menu here because the newer one's kind of bad, not going to lie. It lost a lot of things that you could do, and this one, although it doesn't look as good, it still allows you to do everything that you actually need to do. So it looks like the activation window won't come up, so let's just look at this. So you'll need to activate Windows before you can personalize your PC. So, of course, it tells you that you can't actually change any of these themes because you're not activated. So you're going to do that, but it still allows you to do this, like, change dark mode, light mode. Yeah, you can still do this. Pretty sure it'll be, like, fine for most of the users, and if you have a Windows license, you can still put it in. And that's pretty much it. So now, let's talk about why you would choose something like RevOS over just stock Windows. So here are a couple reasons. Number one is definitely gaming. If you want to play games, you want to do everything, Linux, while it's a good general source operating system, it's not really good for gaming, and lots of games don't support it. Number two is privacy. RevOS, as you can see during the O the oval login process there's nothing there you you don't have to log into a microsoft account you don't have to sell your soul there's nothing of that kind there and it's just make your account and i really like that part number three is just general app compatibility windows still has amazing app compatibility compared to linux there's you can run like, all the way back from Windows 3 apps on Windows 11, there's so much of that. Number four is to get away from the grip of Microsoft. If you're running Windows 11, you're never going to know what Microsoft throws at you one day in a Windows update. Like this. I'm still kind of mad about this, because one day Microsoft chose to, like, th throw this at me, and now I have to look at it in my taskbar. Number five, if you have a bad computer or a computer that just doesn't run as well, you could definitely try RevOS. It's so much lighter, there's less like random BS that's on your computer, and yeah, startup times are going to be definitely faster. So those are the main reasons that I think that RevOS is a pretty good competitor to normal Windows, and I'm pretty sure that they won't get like cease and desisted by Microsoft anytime soon. So that's it for the video. I made this video for one of you out there who just won't switch to Linux and still want to use Windows. You know who you are. That's it for today. Today, see ya.